Most welcome, Professor Locke. It's wonderful to be here. It's very great to have you here and for our seminars and to talk on the issues of labor standards in global value chains, a subject you have studied for more than 10 years. Could you please tell us what are the main findings of your research? I guess the, the main findings are, are, are three. The first is that the traditional approach uh, to governing global value chains, which is a private compliance approach, uh, that that uh, is limited in its effectiveness. That this is what most companies do, most NGOs uh, pressure companies to do. Uh, and what we found in this research that looked at different industries across different countries over time is that while that approach is better than nothing, it doesn't lead to significant and sustained improvements. So that's the first finding. The second finding is an alternative, more capability building commitment approach does seem to be successful. And that entails uh, training managers and workers in these global supply chain factories uh, with certain kinds of management techniques, technical techniques, so they can run more efficient businesses that are also more sustainable uh, businesses. Uh, and the third finding is that while there's much that we can do in the factories, uh, dispersed around the world. There's also much that we can do in headquarters uh, here in Europe or in the United States by revisiting uh, buyer practices, purchasing practices, and other upstream business practices. You base your uh, research on thousands of audit reports from some of the big multinationals in the world. Uh, how have they reacted to the results of your research? What is happening today? Um, I think the response has been very uh, positive. I think uh, initially uh, some of the companies were somewhat surprised by the findings. These are companies that have invested millions of dollars and many years and many people, staff, to do traditional compliance. Uh, and they knew that it wasn't quite working, but they didn't know why. And so I think what our research did uh, was to basically explain to them why it wasn't working and help them direct their energies and their resources towards capability building. And we're seeing many of the firms are redirecting their energy in that way. So it's very positive. Okay. And if you look into the future, what are the uh, most important research questions that you would like to answer in this field? I would say that there's three. Uh, one is uh, a more systematic examination of uh, the buyer practices. You know, what is it that the buyers are doing in terms of aggregating orders or uh, putting pressure on lead times, et cetera, that maybe they can change that might have dramatic effects on the factory floor. So understanding that. The second one is to understand uh, industry level collaboration and partnership. Um, because it, it, to solve these problems of sustainability, we can't really solve them one company at a time or one supply chain at a time. We need to have more coordination. So how can we study that those forms of coordination that are emerging uh, that might lead to progress? And finally, um, there's so much that the private sector can do, but it can't do it in the absence of uh, government uh, or international uh, organizations. And so what exactly is the partnership between the private sector and the public sector or the international organization sector to solve these problems? I think that those are the three big problems.